Right then, we are back with Saints Row the Third. We're currently hanging out in our rather fabulous apartment here. Not that that fabulous. We really want to get a bigger place. So, in a previous mission, we picked up uh, this Reaper drone, UAV missile, predator missile sort of thing. And I didn't realise actually you can go and just use it when you're out and about. If you fancy it. So, um, here's an average street of cars. Let's have a look. There you go. We're going to fly it in. Here they are. Boom! Cause some damage. And as you can see, um, I think I think they want to get away. I think that <laughs> they've just realised what's happened, and they've just immediately they are the best way to put it. They are shitting themselves. It is garbage right now. They actually just ran over my homie. So, well, she she's flown quite quite far. So obviously there's plenty to be doing in Saints Row the Third when you're not playing missions. Same old, same old. Um, I could go and gun down this guy over here if I really fancied it. And, and scare everyone. Oh, he's, he's definitely dead. He is definitely dead. Yeah, twice dead. Homie dead. Everyone's dead again. There you go, back up, back on your feet. Oh, I'm I'm not back on my feet. That hurt. So this is the dangerous part of town that I think we should leave. But um, so you see this flashing rescue over here. This is actually one of the collectibles, which um, yes, it is. Uh, it is what you think it is. It's a sex doll. Hurrah. Okay then, well let's now time to check out a mission. So I can simply go into my phone here. Uh, obviously check the map if I need to go anywhere specifically. Or you just go straight to your mission. So Pierce has sent me a mission. I simply ring him up. How's the crew settling in? Man, we gotta get a new place. That studio shit ain't working at all. Spent too much time in posh hotels. <laughs> Doesn't mean we should get soft. I hear you. Listen, how about you and me roll around the city and see what Steelport has to offer? You've convinced me. Maybe at the park. I'll pick you up. So, time to find a fast ride. Fans of the series may remember the Raycaster. Well, it's back, obviously, like every other MMO, well, open world game. The vehicle is always returned. Still as fast as it is, and um, obviously I can go and customize this vehicle. Talking of customization of vehicles and cars or whatever, we're actually going to do that now. So Pierce has just rang up to um, basically say that we need to get the row back, man. We need to bring the row back. And apparently the best way to do that is to look cool. Looking as cool as possible. So we're actually going to head off the uh, highway here. We go meet Pierce. And he is basically going to be the tutorial for uh, vehicle customization. Blade confronts Marion, whose love for him is growing stronger and more dangerous. I thought this was an emergency. It is. You said you needed me. I do. Uh, I don't have time for this. Nightblade, don't go! Will Marion's love for Nightblade make it hard for the vampire hunter to do his job? I tried to love once, Marion. After losing Sylvia, I can never love again. Cutscene, people. This car could use a little tuning. Let's find a rim jobs and get it cleaned up. So, as I, as I was saying, Pierce obviously doesn't really like his car. It does look pretty rubbish, as us Brits say. 
looks terrible. Look at it. A heap of shit. Um, so what, what we're going to do now is obviously head and fix this thing up. Everyone is. I know. But you're always pissed. So we have arrived in the Rim Jobs garage. Many of you may remember this. It's back. So we can go in here, change the performance. Um, so specifically, you can actually change the way the car kind of handles. You can reinforce the frame. You can add torque. You could make it a lot quicker. You know, speed, nitrous, kneecappers. The lot can be found here. However, be aware that this can get incredibly pricey. As you can see, it's $200 at the moment, but um, it doubles as it goes up. And you'll be spending a few thousand on a car. So you might want to, you know, make sure it remains somewhat pretty. You don't want to break it. Anyway, let's go into the body mods here. So you can change the exhaust tips. Go for some of them. Front bumpers. Oh, one of them. Hood. Yeah, it's good to have the dip hood. Yeah. Mirrors. No. Rear bumpers. Yeah. Got to, you know, got to make it look cool. Roofs. Uh, do you know what? I prefer, prefer the roof. Yeah. Yeah, that looks cool. Spoilers. No. No. Mm, yes. Yeah, we'll have that. And then obviously the decals to add to your car if you, if you want to add that. I quite like the uh, black t the, the lines in the windows. Reminds me of actually Grand Theft Auto 3. I don't know why. So you can go in as ever, paint all of it if you really want to. So I'm going to put this horrible pearlescent paint on it because it's gold. The yeah. thing I didn't actually realise with Saints Row the Third is actually you, you can customise your character and you can seriously customise your car. Like you could make this car look hideous. Like genuinely hideous, which in previous games you couldn't. So as you can see, I've got um, I can paint it with metal, rubber, or plastic. And just going through some of these colours, you, you'll notice like, ugh, that looks horrible, like that sort of thing. So you could make a bright pink and green car with flashing lights or something if you really wanted to. Right now we're going for Pierce's uh, gold blue. Right now we're going for... So right now the goal is to get um, this car as blinged up as possible. Basically. I don't know what. Cool. Also, it's no longer called um, Saints Purple. Now Royal Purple. Big guide. They used to have their car. I, I kind of wanted to make everything purple here. Because I'm, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a saint. Saints through and through. And all that. So you can go in as ever. Make your your, your wheels as whack as possible. Rim size, low profile, low profile, high, high, high. Wheel size, get some really big, you go tiny on the wheels or 23 inches. The width of the wheels, you want them as deep as possible, I find. Extra profile, high profile. Okay. Tie tread. I think I'm going to go for the, um, yeah, the ones that look like I'm a proper dean of a driver. And then the new thing, you can obviously add all these new um, the rims. You can go into each family of rims and they're pretty cool. I've never seen them before. So, gain some respect from doing that. And so that's our car there. Obviously, this is just one example of vehicle customization. Head to Planet Saints. Doesn't it feel like we're going a bit overboard? Nothing wrong with wanting to look good. I always do. Coming up in the next episode of the Saints Row the Third gameplay series, we'll be checking out character customization. We've already looked at customizing the physical look of your character. Now to go purchase some clothing and go and cause some pain. Don't forget to subscribe now.